Hey everybody, welcome back. Coach Bobby here uh, with another video. We're gonna go over uh, just two, two categories. I'm gonna go back over the passing drills that you do uh, either with a partner or a solid wall surface. I'll show you with mine, it's coming up against the, the glass wall here at the Y. And I'll show you some different ways you can do that different techniques, different progressions that you're going to want to do to sharpen your skills. So the first one I'll show you will be the single leg double tap. Okay. So you're going to take one leg at a time, especially if you have a partner, it's fine. If you're using the wall, same thing. So you're going to come up and you're going to hit the ball to the wall. It's going to come back to you. What I want you to do is practice stopping the ball and then you're going to hit it back. Stop the ball. In the back it should be continuous you should be able to do 20 to 25 real quick and then you're going to switch to the other side so you can use your right leg and then you know most kids are right footed so what you're going to want to do is make sure you're using that non-dominant leg you're not you're not going to want to just practice with your dominant foot even though it's going to work better for you you still got to build up that other side so you're going to do 20 to 25 on each leg Right leg, kick it to the wall. As it when it bounces back, just under control. Stop, boom, hit it back, okay? And then, once you're gonna do after that is, now we're gonna do it with one touch. So when the ball comes back to you, you want it under control, you want it at good speed, so you can hit it. You don't wanna hit it too hard so that you miss it and you have to chase it down. You want it to come back to you at good speed and then practice hitting that ball straight back and forth. You want it in a straight line on the ground too. You don't want the ball popping up in the air because that when you're looking to do a pass, that's not good form. You want that on the ground because when you're passing to your teammate, you want them to be able to receive the ball. If you're kicking the ball so hard that it's flying up and it's hitting them in the stomach, that's no good. The kid's just either gonna move out of the way or he's gonna get hurt when the ball hits him and then the other team gets it. So you want it under control. So on the one touch, same thing, 20 to 25 each leg. Left foot 20, 25, right foot 20, 25. And then now what we'll do, okay, so now we've done just the basic two touch and one touch. So now what we're gonna do is transfer. There's two ways to do it. So when I hit the ball to the wall and it comes back, instead of stopping it, I'm gonna use my left foot, the same foot I kicked it with, and I'm gonna redirect it across my body and then I'm gonna hit it with my right foot. So now, basically, when the ball comes back to me, I'm transferring it to the other foot. The ball should almost always be in motion. So when I kick it to the wall, come back, over, wall, back, over. So it's basically making a U shape right, right um, with me in the wall. But this will help you, and you can use this during the game almost at any time. When the ball's coming toward you, if you just need a little bit of space, Boom, just touch it over and now you have a little bit extra space now you can hit the ball you can shoot whatever you want to do but for this drill we're just going to be passing also it's very good for young kids if they're not good with one foot usually it's the left foot like I said you don't want them to be stopping the ball completely but since it's on their left foot running in a big circle around the ball to get to their right foot. You want to teach them to redirect the ball to their other foot. It's so much faster, it's so much easier, and if you're running around the ball to get to your dominant foot, it gives the defense too much time to take the ball from you. So this is a great skill for you soccer. All right, so now the tricky part on this one is instead of redirecting it in front of you, if you want, if you've gotten to the point where those progressions are completed, you feel comfortable, like you've mastered those skills, now you can let the ball go between your legs and instead of transferring it in front of you, you're gonna let the ball go between your legs and then you're gonna bring your foot behind you just to redirect it enough to the other side, stop, and then hit it back to the wall. I'll show you. All right, everybody. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some dribbling now. So basically what you're gonna wanna do um, as the kids get older and they're not just doing the kick and run thing, because uh, U4 is, 
is just chaos. So uh, just a side note, side tip for uh, any coaches out there doing U4, just hang in there. It's, uh, it's just organized chaos. You're just out there making sure the kids have fun. So um, these techniques and these special moves and drills don't, don't expect too much. They're just out there running and kicking. Uh, as long as they keep coming back and staying on the field, you've done your job. So anyway, so now we're gonna do some dribbling. Uh, there's a few things I'll show you. There's gonna be my pinky toe move uh, under control, my pinky toe move at speed, which is gonna be when you're more in the open field and you don't have any defenders in front of you. Uh, and I'll explain the pinky toe. So basically what you're gonna do when the kids are younger, they just, they're gonna take their toe and they're just gonna just boot the ball, right? So as they get older, you want them to not do that. You want them to actually use the other parts of their foot, the inside of the part of the foot for passing, the top of the, sh the foot for shooting, and then that bridge right where the laces are is for you know long passes and clearing. But when you're dribbling, you're gonna point your toe down to the ground and it's gonna be on a little bit of an angle and you're pushing you're pushing the ball forward with your pinky toe. That's what they call a pinky toe. So anyway, when I dribble, you'll see it. It's just you when you're when you're confined and you're trying to stay under control, you want to touch the ball every couple of steps. Um, versus when you're out in the open and you need to run faster to, to get to the goal, you're gonna be dribbling every four to five steps six to seven steps you want the ball to travel further and then you can run faster as you catch it so we'll do i'll show you those two and then what we'll do is i'll show you two step overs you have the the outside step over and then the inside um, these are just you know ball fakes just like in basketball and other sports you you got to sell it you want your body to you want the kids to learn it's it's very dramatic you want to you want the defender to actually believe you're going a certain direction once they buy the fake then you're going the opposite direction so i'll show you the inside and outside step overs as well and then uh, we'll see if we can throw a little little fancy trick in there as well so here we go All right, everybody, so for my bonus section here, I'll show you some tips for juggling. This is something you can start pretty young, U6. I wouldn't work, again, U4 is very basic. You just want them to know no hands, stop, kick, which direction they're going, and have fun. When you get to U6, that's when you can start to add a few things and you know sharpen their skill set. You want them to feel confident with the ball. So. It's not just dribbling, it's not just passing, shooting. Juggling is a great way for kids to learn control with the ball, okay? So here's my bonus material right here. We're gonna do juggling. Okay, here so we go. For juggling, this is one drill where you're gonna want them to pick the ball up with their hands. First time they've ever juggled, you don't want them picking it up from the ground because they'll just get frustrated and it, it, you know, it's not good. So you want them to start with the ball up near their chest. Okay, hold it out just a little bit. I'll turn this up, just arm's length. Okay, you just want the, and you, you don't want them to throw it up. 
most kids when they do that they're just going to want to try to punt it kick it hard just ball out in front drop okay so now once they're doing that have them bring their leg up just do one just do one catch both legs alternate maybe okay so that's how they start the leg has to be flat okay it's got to hit a flat surface if it hits the, the leg when it's down like this the ball's going to go that way if you hit it up too high it's going to come back and hit them in the chest okay okay so now once they've done one just progress to more okay one right one one two and you can alternate one two one two three okay the legs the knees the thighs that's the easiest one okay you want them to be able to it's all about building confidence celebrate every success encourage when they make mistakes otherwise they'll just be like you know what i'm not good at it i don't like soccer i don't want to do it anymore you want them to keep coming back um you want them to have fun you want them to enjoy it it's a great game for kids to play uh, they can play it for a long time it's a it's a great sport so after that what you can do is have them try to drop it to their foot okay that's much much harder now once they do that a little bit then from there they just go they just want to try to string more they can together when they're using their feet they're going to want their toe pointed backwards just a little bit i know that's different than the thigh but with their foot, they want the ball to kind of spin back so it's staying in place. Not the gist of it. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Soccer, soccer. Uh, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Please spread it. Uh, if you can, share it on your, you know, Facebook. Share it on uh, Twitter. Whatever you got. That way I can try to get this uh, channel out there and I can uh, try to get some exposure and help some uh, coaches out there. See you next time.